with Pan Rama News. We will be starting straight away with the main headlines. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi inspects the roads and the access projects. Russia's advance in Ukraine stalls. And the German lawmakers vote to abolish the pandemic curbs. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi made an inspection tour in Masr al adima and the historical Cairo areas. The president followed up on the work pace at a number of national roads and access projects. President Hassisi was keen to stop and talk to a number of citizens and families, where the president congratulated them on the approach of the holy month of Ramadan. The president also inquired about the living conditions and listened to their needs. During his tour in Masr al adima area, President Assisi ordered to give medical treatment to an old lady in the armed forces medical complex. <laughs> Foreign Minister Samah Shukri handed over a letter from President Abdel Fattah Hassisi to the Indonesian President Joko Widodo that tackled boosting bilateral cooperation. The message also included Egypt's preparations for the upcoming climate change summit, the COP27, which will be hosted by Egypt next November. The Foreign Minister said that Egypt is looking forward to enhancing the bilateral relations and continuing the consultations with Indonesia for the interests of both countries. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri held talks with the Indonesian counterpart Retno Marsodi on the means of enhancing the Egyptian-Indonesian relations. During the meeting, the two top diplomat exchanged visions about the main regional and the international issues of mutual concern. Both ministers also signed the Memorandum of Understanding about establishing a joint committee. Separately and in the framework of preparation for the Climate Change Conference, the COP27, Shukri met with the Indonesian Minister of Environment and Forestry, Siti Norbaya Bakar. The meeting discussed the bilateral relations and the mutual cooperation in addition to signing a Memorandum of Understanding in the field of Environment, Preservation and the Sustainable Development. The Foreign Minister also held meetings with the Indonesian Minister of Finance and the Secretary General of the Association of the Southeast Asian Nations, the ASEAN. The Ministry of Interior continues the 22nd stage of Kullina Wahid, or We Are One initiative, in coordination with the Ministry's different sectors across Egypt. The initiative aims at providing various food and non-food commodities to the citizens at low prices. The initiative has 993 branches, including key super and hyper markets nationwide. The commodities will be sold at a discount of 25 to 60 percent of its market price. U.S. President Joe Biden and the Chinese President Xi Jinping spoke on a video call about the Russian military operation in Ukraine, and the Chinese media said that Xi underlined that such conflicts are in no one's interests. Xi also said that the state-to-state -state relations cannot advance to the stage of confrontation and the conflicts are not in the interests of anyone. Meanwhile, Biden warned that, gee, there would be consequences if Beijing gave material support to the Russian military operation in Ukraine, while both sides stressed the need for a diplomatic solution to the crisis. Russian President Vladimir Putin used the rally before a packed football stadium to justify the military operation of Ukraine, promising tens of thousands of people waving Russian flags that all the Kremlin's aims would be achieved. 
He said that the soldiers fighting in what Russia calls the special military operation in Ukraine had illustrated the unity of Russia. Putin said that the operation in Ukraine was necessary because the United States was using the country to threaten Russia. Ukraine said it is fighting for its existence and that Putin's claims of genocide are nonsense.